What up Giants fans, back at it again with another video. This will be a short one, just wanted to recap some of the things that went down. Rookie mini camp is underway, the rookies have reported to camp. Some of them have signed contracts already, I believe Aziz Ajalari has signed his four year deal. Uh, they're looking good. Uh, we had a little practice scare the first day. Uh, Kadarius Tony apparently twisted his foot or his ankle. Uh, got banged up on one of the undersized cleats. Hey, you moron equipment managers, make sure our fucking players, especially our first round fucking draft picks, have the right size shoe on their fucking feet. We do not need any more injuries this summer. We fucking need everyone at pristine condition, and we need to fucking make moves this year. Um, but everyone else looks good. Everyone picked their numbers. Kadarius Tony's wearing Bavaro's 89. A lot of you fans are upset that he was not number one. Number one is retired. He can't wear number one. Uh, that was a long time ago, but he is retired, and the Maras will not give that number up to him. Um, I'm assuming don't buy his jersey yet. I don't think 89 will be his final number. Once these bums like David Sills and CJ Bard and Austin Mack probably will get cut because our wide receiver death is just too high at this point. I believe Tony will change his number. Um, as far as the other rookies, don't get their jerseys just yet either. These rookie, rookie mini camp assigned jersey numbers are not set in stone yet. A lot of them will change their numbers once more players get trimmed off the roster. Uh, in other news, we uh, just recently, as of 10 minutes ago, have signed former Panthers wide receiver and Dave Gilman's former first-round draft pick in Carolina, Kelvin Benjamin. Um, right now, we have him listed as a tight end on the depth chart. He's big enough where he might even play off at the tackle or D-tackle. That's a joke. All kidding aside, we signed him. Uh, we listed him as a tight end. He joins a very in-depth very loaded tight end depth chart. Uh, I believe he'll be behind Ingram, one, Rudolph, two, uh, Caden Smith, three, Levine Toliolo, if I pronounced his name right, four, and uh, Benjamin, five. Uh, we'll see what Benjamin has in store. He is tall. He does have a great red zone target. He does have good hands. Uh, he's lazy. He uh, plays kind of lethargic sometimes, but with that big body, that big frame, could be a perfect red zone target for Daniel Jones in the future. So we'll see if he makes a team. Uh, the schedule release again came out. I have the Giants at 10 and 7. The more I look at it, could be 11 and 6, could be 9 and 8. There's some swing games there potentially. But uh, for all that, yep, just a short recap. Uh, let's hope rookie minicamp uh, continues to go well. No big injuries, no injury scares, and fucking equipment managers. Make sure you, you have the fucking right size feet and fucking cleats on these players' fucking feet, man. We can't afford an injury in any injuries, especially to our number one draft pick. Uh, as always, just go Giants, and uh, I'll continue to update the channel as uh, things progress. Go G-Men.